We're going to go straight to questions uh, for Jordan and Peter. If you raise your hand, we'll get a mic out to you, please. Right down here in front. Uh, for Jordan, I guess what went wrong from your perspective in the second half? Uh, they made a run, and we weren't able to capitalize and execute what, what we wanted to on offense. Um, I thought we were pretty locked in when they made their first run in the first half, and we responded, responded pretty well, ended the half pretty what we wanted to, but uh, they made that run in the second half. We weren't able to execute our stuff, and um, they shot the ball really well, so we got to give credit to them. Back on the aisle. Peter, with your first points not coming until the 13-minute mark, what do you see on defense that attributed to the slow start? Uh, I mean, they were, they were really key in the whole game. And um, I wasn't trying to force anything. I was just going to let the game come to me. So I was trying to find other ways to get uh, involved on offense other than just shooting. But uh, all night, they were really key in. They didn't leave me. And uh, they was always there when I caught the ball. Other questions for the students, please? Down here in front. For either guy, I guess, how disappointing is it to have that happen in the second half, given how the season ended and the improvements you had made defensively? Peter, will you take it, please? Um, I mean, we've been playing really well. Um, obviously, today we didn't play that well, but credit to them. They were really locked in. They played really well. Like Jordan said earlier, they made a couple of runs in the, in the first half, and we came back to it. But in the second half, they made a run, and we weren't able to – uh, come back from that run, but overall, I'm still proud of the young guys for the from where they started to where they are right now. Uh, they just, we just got to keep on going, playing. So, anything else for the two students before I let them go? All right, thanks, fellas. You may return to the locker room. Take questions for Coach McCaffrey. Back on the left there. Coach, 12 for 20 uh, from three-point range, uh, six for eight in the second half for Indiana. Uh, was it them just really hitting it, or did your uh, defense uh, not You know, I, I think it, it was a little bit of both. You know, they, they, they made a really good point. I mean, they had a 12-2 run in the first half. They had a 10-2 run in the first half, and, and we really kept our composure. In the second half, we did not. We started quick shooting the ball, so some of those threes were in transition. Some of those threes, we weren't in their space. You know, and some of those threes were, they, you know, they got a lead and they were comfortable shooting. You know, it's a lot easier to shoot when you're up 13, 15 than if it's a one possession game. You know, I thought they were playing really relaxed and shooting the ball. A lot of different people were making threes. So you, you got to give them credit. They were moving the ball. They played in and out. You know, they shared it. And, uh, you know, we, they shot 68%. You know, and you say, well, the first thing you got to do is you got to give Indiana credit. They executed, they moved the ball, they took good shots. But, you know, obviously from our perspective, our defense was not nearly what it needed to be to compete with a team that has that many weapons. Down here in front. Yeah, Fran, uh, a couple of guys that you count on, Nicholas and Peter, really had slow, slow games today. I guess, what did you see there that was causing them some problems? Nicholas had a very uncharacteristic game for him. I mean, I, I, I don't remember him having a game like this in, in two years. I mean, he's always really locked in, and, and, and even if he's not making threes, he's really effective. He just was a little bit sideways tonight for some reason. Uh, you know, Pete, you know they're going to guard him a certain way. And uh, he had a couple of looks that normally would go in. They didn't go in. And we were going to him. Uh, you know, it's just unfortunate. You know, he's had such a great year and such a great game on senior day. It's just unfortunate. Back here on the right. Coach, I believe this was the first double-double of Jordan's career. Um, amazing for a freshman point guard in conference tourney play. Um, is he just another great young guard, or do you think this is something like we're going to see him rewriting the record book maybe down the line at the school? Well, you know, he's already done a little bit of that. Uh, at, at University of Iowa. So, you know, I don't see the reason why it wouldn't continue is I think he's just going to get better with experience, you know. And that's what's been most impressive because a lot of times when you have freshmen that play well, one of two things happens. Either they continue to get better through experience or teams figure them out and they're not as good. Well, your teams have tried various things with him and he's still effective. He's smart, he's tough, 
He's a tremendous shooter, but he's also a great passer. He has great feel for how to play. His defense is improving. He's just going to keep getting better as he gets stronger. Down here in front. Yeah, Brian, I guess, was it a bit of a snowball effect at all, second half defensively, or, or what did you see what was breaking down? You know, you see this, you know, typically on the road. Team makes a run, and you start quick shooting the ball. They get some transition baskets. They get some and ones. You know, this wasn't a road game, but it sort of had that feel that, you know, we let it get away from us because of our poor shot selection. We were not connected defensively the way you need to be to play Indiana. You know, Tom runs a lot of good stuff. You know, they, they go side to side. They have driving action. They have post up action. They have screen screening action that requires you to really be locked in and understand personnel. Now, you know, other things happen. You know, like Jones comes in and hits two threes. Uh, well, that's a that's a big bonus for them. You know, and and and. and Davis was terrific in seven for seven, but he does what he does. He hangs around the rim and he's he's a power pack there. So, you know, we're trying to push some different buttons. You know, we're we're trying to get an offensive unit out there, and sometimes that's smaller and they're going bigger. That creates problems. So, uh, you know, when it's all said and done, what you have to do is just give credit to your opponent. Any final questions? Take one last one down here in front. One more, friend. You shortened your rotation the second half. Felt like what was the reason behind that? Well, you know, we gave you know we we gave Creener a shot. Uh, I thought he you know and Cordell obviously was good. Uh, Christian wasn't feeling great with his back. He, he had a funny look on his face. Uh, he was not right. He wasn't right when I put him in in the first half. So I didn't go back to him. So he's out. Uh, I I didn't go back to Brady because Isaiah was playing so well. I wanted to give him some more minutes. Everybody else played that normally plays. So, you know, I, I always feel bad I didn't give Dom more minutes. But again, you know, when you get behind, sometimes you're trying to get more offense on the floor. Coach, thanks very much. Thank you.